Hi everybody. This video is about installing CentOS Linux 7 on an Oracle VirtualBox. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to centos.org, centos-linux, and on this side, site we're seeing the download options. We're only seeing the CentOS 7 download option because CentOS 8 has been sunset. So in, among the different architectures, I'm going to pick x86 64-bit because I'm installing everything in, on my Windows machine. Clicking on the architecture will bring up the mirrors page and from the mirrors page, I'm just going to pick the first one. And then I'm going to select the full ISO file, not the biggest one that you're seeing here, but the uh, four gigabyte one because I like to have everything in one place. And then I'm going to download. I'm going to stop this video now and come back later. The file has downloaded now. And uh, as you can see, it's sitting here on my desktop. And now we're going to build the virtual box. To do so, we're going to click on the Oracle virtual box and then on new. And here I'm going to give my virtual box its name. I'm going to call it CentOS 7 VM. And automatically when I type that, the type sets itself to Linux and to Red Hat. That's because CentOS is uh, the open source version of Red Hat or the free version of Red Hat, really. Then under next, I'm going to set my memory to two gigabytes. I'm going to hit next and just accept all the defaults from here on out. Okay, and my virtual box is done. At this point, I'm going to start the virtual box. And what you'll be seeing here is that, of course, it doesn't have an operating system on it, so I have to give it one. I do that by selecting the uh, file that I have right here on my desktop. So I'm going to navigate to desktop and then select that and I'm going to hit start and here we go. As you can see the virtual box has turned itself on. I'm going to hit return on my keypad and now it's going to take a little while and it's going to um, be a little bit spotty while the machine spins itself up. Oh, here it is. As you can see, we're seeing the installation uh, files being verified. And uh, I'm going to pause this in a little bit. I'm going to come back when something interesting happens. All right, and here we are. And we're seeing uh, the installer installing right now. So you'll see all the uh, files and the installation log scrolling by the screen. And at this point, uh, you may think that nothing is happening, but something is actually happening. As you can see, the little green dot and the hard drive uh, icon is doing something. So I'm going to accept English United States as my default setting. I'm going to hit continue. And then as you're seeing here, the begin installation uh, button is uh, grayed out. That's because I need to uh, fix something here. And uh, what do I need to fix here? Under system, we're seeing the installation destination has not been configured yet. That's what we're going to do now. I'm going to click on my VirtualBox hard disk, and then I'm going to hit done. And as you're seeing now, the begin installation button is available. And for the user settings, I'm uh, going to select to set a root password, I'm not going to create a, a user, but here is me typing in my root password.
and you'll always want to make sure that you have a strong password, of course, or a passphrase. All right, so now you're seeing here, I could create a user if I wanted to, but uh, I'm not going to do that at this point. And you're seeing here at the bottom that the installation uh, progress is running. And I'm going to come back when the installation has finished. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to go and probably make myself a cup of tea. All right, so you've just seen the installation being finished and um, rebooting. So now I'm going to hit return for my CentOS Linux. And at this point, we will see the boot sequence. And you're seeing CentOS Linux 7 showing up in the bottom right hand. Uh, of the terminal window and here's my login okay so at this point i should mention that i did something that's incredibly unsafe and you should never do that namely uh not set a user and log in as the root user again this is something completely unsafe you should never ever do this in real life but here we are we are in roots home directory and at this point we can uh, decide to look around a little bit. All right, so let's see what's going on here. This is the a root home directory. Um, LS-IL shows me that. Um, let's see what's going on at the bottom of our tree here. We're seeing the entire directory. We're here we're seeing bin. Um, we're seeing our user. We're seeing var. We're seeing Etsy. Looks like we have a good full installation. Let's take a look at Etsy to see if we have the shadow file, which is what you're seeing here. And where we have a shadow file, we should also have a password file. So let's take a look at that next here. All right. And here is our password file. It's owned by root. Looks like everything is good. So thank you so much for watching. What you've seen here is a, a complete installation video of a CentOS 7 virtual machine. Take care.